All right, I'm gonna, I dug a trench along the top of his neck. That's where I'm gonna put the uh, monster clay for his uh, mane um, in, and that way I can marry it to the uh, clay. I came up with a title different than what I've had. Uh, it's been a, a, a burr under the saddle, but I'm thinking of calling it Lefty's horse has a difference of opinion. I don't know. That doesn't sound too hot now that I say it out loud. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of that title if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I've gone ahead and started putting uh, the mane of the horse. And I'm designing it to make it kind of reflect the movement of the horse the best I can. And uh, I've got to fill in behind this hair that, or this mane that's uh, sticking out so that they can make a mold of it. It can't have a big, deep undercut, so I'm uh, just working all that out. This is only the second time I've used monster clay to do the mane of a horse. And I kind of like how it, when it's soft, it forms in your hand and uh, I'm just experimenting with it right now I'm just uh, adding a little extra layer of hair taking my time because I want to be I want to be right on this I got to be careful not to make it too thin at the top because it could cause problems casting it.
This is where fingernails come in handy. No set design pre planned for this uh, mane of the horse. I'm just letting it happen as I work on it, and it sort of tells me in the direction it's going to go. Paint the mane to match the clay. Okay. I'm liking this a whole bunch more now. Now I'm using regular clay instead of monster clay on this part because I don't really need to use monster clay to do this. I've got a good base of monster clay down there and uh, at the base for the uh, clay I'm putting on now. And that works just fine. I don't think there's much I can do to make this less expensive to cast. It's going to be very complicated. And it ain't going to be cheap. I'm afraid. Anytime you get this complicated, it costs money. I'm just doing everything I can to make it less costly. All right, that's all the time I've got on this thing for today. Uh, the mane, I'm very happy the way that turned out. The uh, tail is getting there. I'll carry on with that. And then I've got a lot of smoothing on the horse to do and some 
repairs and stuff like that. And also the pocket on his uh, shafts. And uh, as far as filling in, I'll do all that when I get ready to take it to the foundry. Right now I got no sales on this, so there's no reason to take it to the foundry. I got a few details to do on the sleeve of his jacket here, especially on the inside part, which I haven't done yet. And, uh, but I'm happy the way this has all turned out. It really feels good to me. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for today, and I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.